the Fed, Jerome Powell, the FOMC statement. All things that everybody is speaking about right now, but I'm getting asked a lot of questions along the lines of, what does it actually mean? And I, for one, I'm guilty of speaking about these things quite a bit, but not really going into detail on them. So that is what we're going to do today. We're going to speak about why tomorrow is so important for the next month, two months, three plus months in the stock market. And it all comes down to this right here, the FOMC statement and the Fed Chair Jerome Powell news conference. What is happening, investors? It is your boy, Jack. I am not a financial advisor, and that's what we got to speak about. Yesterday was an absolutely insane day in the stock market. Literally, 99% of stocks were in the red. Lucid Motors was green. Woohoo! But the large majority of things were down absolutely terribly. Most people had a bad day. Today's pre market is looking a whole lot nicer, though. Now, a lot of what's going on is because of the Evergrande situation on in China. There's a lot of fear, uncertainty, doubt, and for good reason. But one very important thing happens tomorrow, Wednesday, September 22nd, and it is this right here. Why is it so important? That's the whole point of today's video because people don't really speak about it that much. It all comes down to this headline right here. The Fed expected to announce bond taper beginning in November. That's what we're going to speak about. What kind of effects that will have on the stock market? Why we expect that announcement to come tomorrow? What some analysts have to say? And yeah, <laughs> the US Treasury securities. Ooh. So right before we get into it, a little bit more of an informative video hopefully will help clear up a few questions you guys have because I have been getting a surprising amount of direct messages about it. Could I please ask you to hit that juicy like button? It really helps me out quite a lot, my friends. Feel free to drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you've been doing this week. Did you short anything yesterday? Did you buy some of the dips? What are you doing today for the rest of the week? I personally am waiting to see what happens tomorrow. And I will more than likely make a play or two Wednesday and Thursday. And if you are indeed new around here and you'd like more content like this, please hit that juicy red subscribe button. All that motivates me absolutely, usually, my friends. So if you've watched any YouTube video, pretty much around any stock, you probably will have heard somebody speak about the FOMC statement and the fact that Jerome Powell is speaking tomorrow. Now, there's also a lot of other major US economic reports happening. There's not a lot happening in China, aside from the Evergrande situation. But in the US, there is. The following day, you'll see initial jobless claims. There's quite a few things happening. On Friday, we're also going to see new home sales numbers. Going to be an interesting one. And again, if you watch pretty much anybody on stock market YouTube, at some stage, you're going to have heard people speaking about inflation, deflation, stock market crashes, all these new valuations. Is this time different? Now you're hearing about everything that's going on at Evergrande. Now there's a lot of fear in regards to what's going to happen with the housing markets. We even saw a huge crypto sell off over the last 48, even 36 hours, something around 15, 20%. There is a lot happening all at once and genuinely a lot of it does come down to this. So the Fed is expected to announce a bond taper beginning in November. Why is that? It's because of this back in August, okay? Minutes from the July Federal Reserve meeting released Wednesday indicate a willingness to start reducing asset purchases before the end of the year, okay? I spoke about it quite a lot. The Fed is the primary reason the market is where it is right now, okay? Without the Fed, it would be an awful, awful lot lower. If we go back to here, okay, around August 2019, we can see that the securities held outright US Treasury has gone up nearly 2.5 times. That is absolute insanity. And things like this can't keep up forever without real consequences, without you and me being affected both in the stock market, but in our day-to-day -day lives as well, my friends. Now, back in July, officials stressed that there is no link between tapering and potential interest rate hikes. Some members expressed concern over inflation, though options varied widely. We will get into that. A recent survey of 51 economists told Bloomberg that the Federal Reserve will hint at tapering bond purchases at Federal Open Market Committee, the FOMC, and take action with a formal announcement in November. Now, there is quite a lot of conflicting information out there in regards to what people expect to be said tomorrow and when the actual announcements will come. We'll get into that a little bit later, but for now, we're just going to stick here. In the Bloomberg survey, roughly 67% of the economists said that bond buying announcement will come at the end of November meeting, and more than half said tapering will begin in December. So this is going to be a weird time for the stock market. We have had the Fed support for a very, very long time now, since the March crash. Now, it was insane for a little while in March, as you'll see this pretty much vertical line, but look, that is still huge buying. In the most recent survey, only 4% of those economists believe the Fed would hold off tapering purchases until next year. And that's because of this, because of the July minutes indicated a willingness to start reducing asset purchases before the end of the year. They essentially told us, you know, this is a very real possibility. They are considering it. 
they are willing to do it. Tapering has been a hot topic, the Fed insisting it will not slow bond buying until the economy shows substantial further progress regarding inflation and employment during the recovery period of the pandemic. So then everything changed with the whole Delta variant, the Roni, it's not gone anywhere. But at the same time, news came out literally just yesterday, or maybe it was two days ago, that they're going to ease restrictions for visitors. So again, there is conflicting information out there. That's why you can't make an extremely accurate estimation on what exactly will be said tomorrow. Regional presidents argue that tapering should begin immediately to put the Fed in a better position to raise interest rates in late 2022 if inflation begins to exceed comfortable margins. The majority of economists forecasted interest rate increase in 2023 as well as more increases through 24. But for 2021, economists expect rates to remain near zero, which they have throughout the pandemic. This is what we are waiting to find out tomorrow. Here's what some analysts are saying about the coming event, the FOMC tomorrow. Rabobank Bank strategists Richard McGuire and Lynn Graham Taylor writing a note. While recent US labor data remain firm, the continuing elevated threat from the Delta variant surely argues that the most one might expect from Powell is an acknowledgement that the tapering discussion will remain live in the coming months rather than providing an informal pre-commitment to paring back asset purchases and this is what I personally am expecting. The Fed has insisted in the past, you know, they will not slow bond buying until the economy shows substantial further progress, which it hasn't necessarily done, especially with this Delta variant. If this is to happen, I think it will actually be a relatively boring next week, maybe two weeks, maybe month or so. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but you know, at some stage, the band-aid is gonna have to be ripped off. Managing Director of Raids Trading at Seaport Global Holdings, Based on the recent FOMC minutes, we believe the Fed will not announce a taper at Jackson Hole and will most likely announce a taper in November or December. So a similar story here. And it went on to say that tapering will be very gradual, taking place in 2022, over 10 to 12 months and possibly longer. In their view, there is 30% probability that the Delta variant and or geopolitical crisis, a lot of things could happen right now, could actually delay the taper altogether. Another analyst goes on to say it looked like the ideal platform for a taper warning but now officials may be more inclined to see how the data unfolds over the weeks before the September meeting before dropping any major hints. I think that everything that just happened in China isn't going to make them want to cause the biggest stir up in the markets that we've seen in a while personally. And most analysts share similar views to the ones we just spoke about, okay? It makes sense right now. So that is why everybody is speaking about the FOMC statement about Jerome Powell speaking soon. That's why everybody's going to be keeping an eye on this chart to see if they keep up with what they have been doing continually for more than a year at this stage if they will keep buying at this same rate so even though myself and a lot of analysts personally don't expect the biggest outcomes from tomorrow you still have to be aware of what happens and what can happen okay there could be some big syrups there is more than likely going to be big volatility today and tomorrow in the lead-ups to it but i don't think it's going to be as crazy as it's being made out to be. I think the whole situation with Evergrande and what's going on in China right now is bigger and that is actually going to be affecting the markets more just down to fear, uncertainty and doubt. But anyway, my friends, this was just a quick video I wanted to make just to speak about this because I know it's a little bit boring, but I know there's some people who want this explanation and want to know what the analysts think, want to know what they can actually expect. If you watch this video all the way to the end, well done because it probably wasn't the most exciting one in the world, but hopefully I was able to give you some value. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, could I please ask you to hit that juicy like button, drop me that comment down below, and please, my friends, subscribe if you're new around here. Anyway, guys, I hope you all have a beautiful, blessed day. I hope the stock market treats you well. I will see you in another video very soon. Peace.